very good morning the today's uh, video lecture we can see regarding the geometrical interpretation of linear least square approach in the last class we were uh, we have come across uh, with the uh, ex extension to vector parameter of linear least square approach and we have uh, find the equation for a weighted uh, LSE also that is nothing but theta cap is nothing but h transform at w h the whole inverse h transform w into x okay keeping in mind uh, that equation uh, just uh, we can come across with uh, the geometrical interpretation of least square um, error or least square estimate okay uh, so the relaxation uh, or oh, sorry um, uh, what you call it as the linear least square approach um, uh, what we are discussing uh, uh, now uh, take uh, the advantage uh, uh, of uh, clearly relieving the essence of approach and to lead to the uh, additional useful properties that is insight into the estimator okay so um, uh, while see while discussing the geometric interpretation of least square uh, least square method we can able to uh, find out the as uh, the values of estimator uh, more more uh, feasible method uh, uh, as we have been coming across uh, approach with the least square estimator okay so we just uh, uh, recall the things what we are discussing the uh, linear least square approach that is nothing but the, we have already know the signal model that is given, given by s equal to h into theta where h is denote the column matrix and we can write that s as nothing but uh, h1 h2 etc etc um, hp that i can call this as an hi uh, into theta 1 theta 2 etc etc theta p that in general i can write it as sigma i equal to 1 to p theta e into hi okay let me proceed that one uh, keep in mind regarding the uh, signal model that is the equation for the signal model that is s is equal to h into general signal model that is s equal to h into theta okay so geometrical interpretation of least square approach geometrical interpretation interpretations of LSC okay we can see this one mm, as I told you uh, uh, the general uh, what you call as a, uh, the general linear model or the general uh, signal model is being given by the first point is nothing but general signal model model is given by s equal to h theta where we denote the h as the column matrix or uh, we denote H as the column matrix that is given by the columns of H columns of H by H suffix I. Okay, so we have what S equal to that that is vector S equal to h into theta in general i can write what is s s is nothing but uh, s0 s1 etc etc s of n minus 1 okay which is nothing but h1 h2 etc etc hp into 
theta 1, theta 2, etc., etc., theta p. Okay. So this uh, I can write uh, in the form of uh, that is uh, in the form of sigma i equal to uh, 1 to h h i into or theta or theta i to h i. Okay. So the signal model uh, uh, what we have discussed here is a linear combination of the signal that I had discussed in that of uh, uh, that block diagram also. Okay. So here the signal model is a linear combination of the signal vector. Where what is the signal vector here? It is nothing but h1, h2, etc., etc., hp are the signal vector. So I will just write that one. So these are the called as signal. What I have told is signal vector. Okay. That is indicated by h1, h2, etc., etc., hp. Okay. Clear. So, uh, what I will do? Uh, no need to explain that one. Uh, so, uh, the signal model, I will write that one. Signal model uh, is a linear combination of the signal okay I will, I will put in the code, code signal of the signal vectors what is that vector you have the vector as h1 uh, h2 etc etc comma h p clear Okay. So the signal mode is said to be linear combination of the signal vector. So I can write that is as that is S equal to sigma i equal to 1 to p h i theta i or in general I write g of theta. That is sorry, write that one. That is we have sorry. We have L S error J of theta vector theta is nothing but x minus h theta transpose x minus h of theta ok this is the thing so uh, uh, we, we know that uh, with respect to the Euclidean uh, uh, length of a vector that is given by eta in general uh, uh, that uh, normally uh, uh, we have the Euclidean length of of, uh, 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 of vector n cross 1 which is given by eta is nothing but eta 1, eta 2 etc etc eta n transpose and we can write the Euclidean length is nothing but root of eta 1 square plus eta 2 square etc etc eta n square which in general I can write as Euclidean uh, length is nothing but root of uh, eta theta I will call it as theta theta transpose into theta okay so we can write we further define the Euclidean length of a that is the Euclidean length we require this one Euclidean d i a d i the Euclidean length of an n cross 1 vector I call this as theta sorry I call this as theta 
which is nothing but call this as theta which is nothing but vector theta which is nothing but theta 1 comma theta 2 comma etc etc theta n transpose okay and that I can write it as as Euclidean length theta is nothing but root of theta 1 square plus theta 2 square plus etc etc plus theta n square okay so that I can write it as which is nothing but root of theta transpose into theta better to write as a vector okay vector theta that is good it's also indicated the vector form okay everything in the vector form or can be written as eta square can be written as theta transforms into theta clear so therefore while comparing with this one with that of our ls error we can write therefore we can write j of theta is nothing but x minus s theta square clear so that i can write it as j of theta is nothing but s theta already you know that s theta minus sigma i equal to 1 to p what theta i hp hi sorry theta i hi square clear let me see that one x sigma i equal to 1 to p theta i h i so here uh, we see that you are having the two part one is the x as well as the other term that is sigma i equal to 1 to p theta i into h i h i so the linear least square approach will attempt to minimize the square what it is doing it is least square approach it is being attempting to minimize the square of the uh, distance from the data vector what is the data vector here x is the data vector to the signal vector sigma I equal to 1 to p theta i into h y so i write here actually this is our data data vector okay and this term is our signal vector Is clear to you. Okay. Sorry. What happened? Okay. Mm, so, what I will write? I will write this as. Uh, the first point I will write it as I will take that as the first point hmm. that is important that is the in the linear is very important that is why I am writing the uh, different ink the linear least square approach attempts to
to minimize attempts to minimize the square of the what square of the distance from the data vector I think you know from the data vector x that I have indicated as vector x to a signal vector what is the signal vector that is sigma i equal to 1 to p theta i h i okay so this must be a linear combination of columns of H, right? Which must be a linear combination. What linear combination of the columns of H of the columns of capital H okay so keep in mind that point okay the linear least square approach attempt to minimize the square of the distance from the data vector x to a signal vector sigma i equal to 1 to p theta i h i which must be a linear combination of that signal must, uh, which must be means which is indicated the signal vector so the signal vector um, should be a along with the what you call as a uh, ah, so that which must be a linear combination of the columns of H. Okay, I think it's clear for you. So one more point I have to indicate here: so combination of columns of H. H is nothing but a matrix. Okay, keep in mind H is nothing but a column matrix. Okay, I will write that column matrix. So next point, point what I have to do is indicate is. Uh, in the data vector, what is being indicated here is x. The data vector that I have indicated as x lies in a n-dimensional what is the word n-dimensional space lies in a n-dimensional space. And that n dimensional space I will term as R, R of n, capital R of n, n dimensional space I will term as capital R of n. Okay, and while all other possible signal vector, all possible signal vector. that is being linear combination being the first point I indicated linear combination and it should be linear combination of P less than N vectors it should be P less than N vectors and that should lie must lie in a p dimensional subspace in a p dimensional subspace that is indicated by p dimensional subspace of r of n okay of capital r of n and that i will termed as termed as s of p clear S of e, R of n and S of e. R of n is nothing for the data vector which lies in the n dimensional space and uh, S of e is nothing but the uh, all possible signal vector um, which must be a linear combination and should be P should be always less than n and should lie in the P dimensional subspace of R of n. Okay. Uh, and that is termed as S of e. So I will take that one. One, one small note also you write. The full rank 
the full rank of of h okay assumption h assumption it will assures that assures that the columns are the columns that is at matrix h assumption assures that the columns are linearly independent the columns are linearly independent and hence the subspace spanned and hence the subspace spanned is p dimensional okay is p dimensional spanned is p dimension should that should be very uh, clear that is the the met, the full rank of h that uh, if you are taking that h it should assure that the columns are linearly independent and uh, hence the subspace span is should be uh, is a p dimensional case okay uh, i will take for an example i will take for example i will take n equal to 3 i will explain that with a figure okay and p equal to 2 that this thing i will this thing i will explain with the figure and uh, and all the possible choices are all possible choices of signal vector okay choices are theta 1 comma theta 2 where we assume and we have to assume what theta should be in between minus infinity less than theta 1 less than plus infinity okay and minus infinity less than theta 2 less than plus infinity that assumption you get to meet so this will be producing a uh, what you call it as a subspace that is nothing sorry. so like that one which will produce a this will produces a signal vector what a signal vector that is constrained to lie in the subspace Const signal vector constrained to lie constrained to lie in the subspace s2 lie in the subspace s2 okay so p p is nothing but s of p is nothing but s of 2 okay you are writing it clearly subspace s2 and and that in general x that is vector x that is a data vector does not lie in the subspace keep in mind okay should not lie in the subspace so the same thing i had to get that is uh, okay i have taken all possible uh, signal vector being linear combination of p less than n vector must lie in a p dimensional subspace of rn that is termed as of p that is we have to take an assumption for h that the columns are 
the columns of H are linearly independent and hence the subspace is being panned in n dimension. One of the example I take n equal to 3, p equal to 2, the possible choices are theta 1 and theta 2. We have to assume that one. The main, you have to take the assumption that theta 1 should and theta 2 should be lie in between minus infinity to plus infinity. So, if that case, that assumption is be made, then it will produce a signal vector that is constrained to lie in a subspace of S of 2 and that is in general the vector S, X, that is the data vector will not lie in the uh, subspace. Okay. Uh, so, and it should be clear that vector, that also I will write, should be clear, it should be clear that the vector that is S, I call it as X, S cap, okay. I will just call it a small s cap. I will, I will indicate that in the figure, small s cap that lies in in S two and sorry. I will I will write the figure and that will be closest to x that is closest to x in the Euclidean sense in the Euclidean sense in the component in the component of x in s2 ok so i will draw that figure here that figure will take it as this one take this as h1 h2 and this as h1 this as h2 so this indicate subspace spanned by h1 comma h2 which is nothing but S2. Okay. Similarly, you will have an Euclidean sense that I will draw here. Okay. So, we have this is x and this will be your small s cap and this thing sorry, is indicated in Euclidean sense that is epsilon I called it as x minus s cap okay this is small x cap clear so I, I am discussing I have discussed the, the things what I have indicated in some points based upon this figure okay this figure I call as signals of space And this is the also as equation figure A and figure P that is 
orthogonal projection projection to determine signal estimate okay orthogonal projection to determine the signal estimate so this whole figure i can is nothing but the geometrical view point write it in general i can call this as geometrical hmm. i call this as geometrical viewpoint of linear least square of linear least square in where r3 okay this is the figure this figure is that about the geometrical viewpoint of linear least square in squares in r3 so i have uh, i have discussed uh, sorry i have discussed uh, what uh, it should be clear that the vector s s cap that's nothing but the orthogonal projection s s cap that lies in s2 and that is closest to the x in the euclidean sense in the component of x in s2 okay so as you know the s cap is nothing but the orthogonal projection of x on to in s so uh, that also you write i write with the uh, with this thing only that is s cap you write that on is the orthogonal projection of x that is the data vector on to s2 okay so what it means uh what it means actually uh x cap x cap is the number the orthogonal projection uh of x onto sp so this means that this means that um, what uh you are having the error vector that is x minus s cap that is the error vector that is uh, x minus x cap x minus x cap x cap must be orthogonal must be orthogonal to all vector in s2 or sp okay so uh, the all vector in s2 in the sense means i can call this as s of p because here p because p equal to 2 in this case in vector sp in general i can call this in vector sp okay clear sp because p equal to 2 in this case clear or i can write it as i write with the writing or i will i will take it as uh what x minus x cap i can write it as um what it says uh the error vector that is error vector is 
is orthogonal to the signal subspace or I can write or to the signal uh, subspace that is I can write it as x minus x cap should be orthogonal to sp clear put it in the bracket x minus is sp okay so uh, for this to be true for this to be true we must have we must have what x minus x cap should be per, should be orthogonal to hi okay so this is nothing but uh, orthogonal symbol indicator uh, orthogonal to ortho perpendicular okay? so hi h1 h1 or uh, h1 h2 etc etc hp clear or i can write it as uh, etc 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 or I can, I, can, I can write it as x, x minus s cap should be uh, orthogonal to h1 x minus x cap should be orthogonal to h2 etc etc x minus xp should be orthogonal to hp or in general I can write it as um, x minus x cap should be orthogonal to hp ok since sp consists of vector vectors which are linear combination which are linear combination of what h1 and this i call this as h1 okay that's good h1 comma s2 comma etc etc comma sp okay so i can write that it as x minus x minus x cap transform transpose into h1 h2 etc 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 hp should be equal to 0 or x minus transpose I can call this column matrix H which is equal to C that I call this equation some star something like that. So you just take the transpose on both sides in this case, okay. Uh, so I can write H transpose, you just take the transpose on both states. Uh, what do you have? Uh, taking transpose on both side you will have h transpose x minus x cap should be equal to 0 ok this yes, I will check this one yeah clear 
So I will write as h transpose x minus x equal to 0. Hmm. What it, be, it will be? h transpose x minus x cap is nothing but h into theta. Hmm. h transpose vector x, I will call this vector x x minus s theta should be equal to 0, 0 vector or h transpose into x equal to h transpose h into theta because I will I, I am just multiplying s transpose into x h trans minus h transpose h into theta I will bring s transpose h into theta into other side so in general I can write as theta theta is nothing but h transpose h inverse h transpose into x this is the thing what we have already discussed am I correct okay so I write if epsilon equal to x minus h theta denotes the error vector then I can write is epsilon is not x minus s because s is not equal to h into theta which is nothing but x minus h theta okay so you can write LSE Sorry, this uh, yeah, I have a shot. Okay, x minus s theta. Mm. Mm. So LSE that is a linear least square error or approach. LSE is form form from from equation star what I indicated previously by the condition by the condition what is the condition um, that is epsilon transform into h should be equal to 0 transform ok that is if the error vector must be orthogonal to the column of h H. This is nothing but our well-known property what we had discussed in the, uh, the linear algebra that is the orthogonality principle. Okay. This is the well-known orthogonality, orthogonality principle. Clear? This is something regarding the geometrical interpretation of a least square, uh, linear least square error. Just uh, um, one more small talk. I will just see something regarding the minimum least square error. Minimum 
e square error so i will write error that is given by x minus square is nothing but for x is nothing but h and theta i can write x minus h theta square okay so that is given by x minus h theta transform transpose into x minus h theta clear that I can return at I will multiply with x transform ok that is nothing but x transpose x minus h theta minus h theta transpose sorry is going somewhere else so I am using the uh, Microsoft uh, whiteboard that is why not so familiar with this one ok into minus I'll take this sorry that is um, h theta transpose into x minus h theta ok I will take this as x transpose x minus h theta minus h theta h theta transpose this I call this epsilon ok because uh, in general case uh, x minus h theta x minus h theta uh, x, x minus h theta I, I, in the previous case I indicated uh, somewhere here you can see that one this portion because x minus h theta is nothing but epsilon ok so that I am utilizing x minus h theta is equal to epsilon so uh, anyway uh, that orthogonality also you know that is uh, epsilon into h transform should be equal to 0 so what I can make is that the second time I can make it to be equal to 0 you can see that one from this property that is uh, um, epsilon into h transform is equal to 0 ok so what I will do is I will epsilon into uh, yes I will utilize that also here so what ha happens here it will be um, it will be 
uh, so this term will be sorry which is equal to x transform transpose x minus h theta minus this becomes theta transpose h transpose epsilon okay so uh, you know uh, epsilon transpose into h is nothing but this one so so that i can make uh, one minute, this term to be equal to zero okay that means uh, i can make this as x transpose x minus h theta equal sorry minus zero zero I write somewhere here because epsilon transform h equal to zero transform since Theta transform, H transform, epsilon again made equal to zero. Okay. So the term will be X transpose X minus theta already you know it is nothing but H transpose H the whole inverse h transpose into x so that changes to x transpose if i take x outside it will be i minus oh, h into h transpose h in sorry h inverse h transpose into x this is the same equation that we have obtained already. Okay. Sorry. All right. This is the same expression that we obtained earlier. Okay. So thus, I will, I will make a conclusion here, thus, with the least square approach can be implemented as the problem of fitting or approximating of fitting or approximating a data vector vector x cap sorry x what do you know x in Rn by another vector that is x cap which is a linear combination of vectors it's already here written of vectors what h1 comma H two comma etc etc HP okay which lie in the which lies in the what three dimensional space in the three dimensional 
subspaces of R of n. Okay, of R of n. So that is the figure. I will draw that figure once more. Uh, that is nothing but. We will conclude that one with that figure. Okay. Uh, this is nothing but I have drawn X here. I have drawn S cap X here. So So this is nothing but my x minus s which is nothing but epsilon. Okay. And here epsilon should be orthogonal to s of p. Clear? This is the final conclusion I had to make. So in the next uh, video lecture, we will come across the maximum likelihood estimation. That is nothing but MLE, MLE estimation, <coughs> sorry, MLE estimation or the maximum likelihood estimation. Thank you mm -hmm. and thank you for watching this video.